Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with another two box break of 2023 Bowman Draft Baseball Super Jumbo Edition. Random team break number three. Yeah, hunting for this guy here, among others, among other prospects. Very big thanks to this group for making it happen on new release day. Andrew going big, grabbing the remaining spots. Thank you. Thanks to you and everybody. All 30 teams are in. No combos. Let's roll it. Randomized names and teams. One out of five. Six times each. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Got Andrew down to Harry. One and a five, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six, we got the Dodgers all the way down to the Red Sox. All right, Andrew, you got my Dodgers and the Phillies. Steve with the Padres, Karen with the Mariners, Andrew with the A's, Rockies, and Rays. Steve with the Yankees, Jimmy with the Cubs, Andrew with the Royals, Harry with the Brewers, Andrew with the Guardians, Harry with the White Sox, Andrew with the Blue Jays, Giants, and Reds, Harry with the Tigers. Steve with the Mets, Harry with the Orioles, Andrew Diamondbacks, and Nationals. Pat with the Twins, Steve with the Marlins, Harry with the Astros, Andrew with the Angels and Pirates, Bill with the Cardinals, Jimmy with the Braves, Bill with the Rangers, Harry with the Red Sox. Now let's alphabetize by team. And the trade window is open. Trade window is open, so if you want to make a trade, just let people know in the chat. For everyone else, we're going to pause the video for a little bit. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done, so this list remains the same. Here on Tuesday the 12th, random team break number three, Andrew with last spot mojo. Thanks to him and thanks, everybody, for uh, getting this break done. And good luck to everybody. Appreciate you getting in. Also, I'm a liar, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we do have more Super Jumbo. I did find another case of Super Jumbo, and I did post another two-box break. So the next two-box break, so this is Random Team 3. Random Team 4, 5, and 6 will be from the same case. Random Team 4, two boxes from a fresh case. So if you like this Random Team format, you know where to go, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I also like this Sausage Link format right here with these Super Jumbo packs. Five of those packs per box. We got Dallas hosting my Lakers on in the background. Lakers down by 10 with 20 seconds left in the first half, so. Still plenty of time left in the game. Some of our, uh, well, we've, who we've identified some of the key players in Bowman Draft. Paul Skeens for Pittsburgh, Max Clark, Detroit, Wyatt Langford, Texas, 
Jacob Wilson for Oakland, Matt Shaw for the Cubs, Colton Emerson for Seattle, among others. All right. Thanks, everybody, and good luck. Appreciate you. So I'll try to catch as many of those, those players as possible here, but all card ship. I think our sorting and shipping team also have the same list, so they'll be able to pull those players as well. Paul Skeens, that's your number one overall pick. That's for Andrew and the Pirates. Nice. Here, from here in Southern California, went to LSU, had a really, had a really great year. And there's our first autograph, Jonah Cox. You got to make more use of that canvas there, sir. That's going to go to the A's, Andrew, with Oakland. Langford draft card is Devin Saltaban, 113 out of 125 for the Phillies. That's for Andrew. Alex Ramirez to 199 for the Mets. It's going to be for Steve. Yeah, Tunkin's wondering at one point these lads start practicing their autos. Yeah, I mean, I feel like as soon as you're drafted by a Major League Baseball team, you should start working on that. I mean, maybe, maybe. Jaspies really does need to do does need to organize a Jaspies autograph camp. Hey, here's Calvin Harris. Do 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 Harry with the White Sox, four oh five out of four ninety nine. Bounce. Emerson for Seattle, that's for Karen. And there's Tommy Troy. Another solid player here, Andrew with the Diamondbacks. Twelfth overall pick. A couple Colt Emersons here as well. Jesus Baez to 499. And a Matt Horvath, gold. 
for the Orioles. Harry with the O's. 19 out of 50. Nice. Got a refractor Colt Emerson there now, Karen. There's a base Wyatt Langford for Texas. That's going to be for Bill. Got some green coming up here and some glass. Glass Jacob Gonzalez for the White Sox. It's going to go to Harry and green Ryan Clifford for the Mets. 52 out of 99. That's for Steve. The glass parallel is just a little bit of on a thicker cardstock, too. These are pretty cool. There's a Matt Shaw. Jacob Wilson, also part of that key player list. Yeah, I would love to see a Brady, Andrew. I don't, I don't think between the YouTube stream, the personal boxes on Instagram Live and Fanatics Live, we have not seen even a base Brady yet. But why not this break? Why not? We got a Mac Horvath, Lunar, 67 out of 125 for Harry. Max Clark will also go to Harry. Here's Jack uh, Weniger to 499. It's going to be for Steve and the Mets. And then we got a Drew Hackenberg for the Braves. That'll be for Jimmy. Speckle autograph, not numbered. It is numbered, 39 and 71. I think the non-autos are not numbered. All right, see you, Mike. Thanks. It's a paper, Colt Emerson for Seattle. And we got a Tommy Hawk to 125. It's for Andrew and the Guardians.
All right. Here's another one. When was Hackenberg drafted? Let's take a, let's take a look. He was drafted uh, in the second round of 2023, 59th overall. Now, just an update, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us. Uh, we, I did find another case of Super Jumbo. Nick was like, we got another case of Super Jumbo. Post another two-box random team break. So the next two-box random team break will be, uh, will be from a fresh case. And that's loaded up right now at jazbeescasebreaks.com. Now, if you're taking a look at the schedule, I am going to take a little break after this, scarf down some food. And refuel and re-energize, and hopefully we'll have a couple, uh, couple breaks lined up. Now remember, we are running out of time. If we don't hustle on the jumbo, the two jumbo filler, then we might run the uh, run the risk of we might run the risk of running out of time. And maybe rolling a, a, a break over to the next day, which I don't want to do. But we don't have an infinite amount of time, especially with the length of these breaks. Well, after the... Shoei Otani signing. I thought there was going to be some more free agent dominoes dropping a little bit more quickly, but I guess we're now waiting on, on Yamamoto to sign before some of the other free agent names go down. Giants did sign that Korean outfielder to a six-year, hundred-plus million dollar deal. I think significant for... Otherwise, it's just all... All sort of small deals. Seth Lugo to the Royals on a three-year deal. I mean, that's... Dylan Floro signed to the Nationals. There's nothing really exciting there. Andrew Chafin going to the Tigers. So, I guess really the next... Next player... I guess Bellinger still needs, still needs a home. I guess Sonny Gray signed a little bit earlier. I guess Snell, Blake Snell is still out there as a free agent. Aaron Nola signed. I think Jordan Montgomery, did he sign? No, he did not. Matt Chapman, I guess, is still out there. Josh Hader, and then player, teams that needed a closer, still out there. Another Japanese uh, player, Iman, uh, Imanaga, another pitcher, still out there. Eduardo Rodriguez, I think, signed with the Diamondbacks. So there's some, there's some names still out there. Wonder how they'll build around Shoei with the way they structure the con. Well, hopefully, the Dodgers really need starting pitching. So hopefully they'll they'll make some moves there. Mariners just missed a, with their one their one year deal. That's not true, is it? And the Brewers are not going to trade Burns. There's Brady Smith to 99. That's exactly what I would say if I were the Brewers and I was getting, uh, I wasn't getting too much interest in Corbin Burns. Try to up the price on Corbin Burns. This is Joe Redfield. Angels. It's going to be for Andrew.
40 to 150. Wow, rumors they offered Otani one year for $65 million just for him to DH. I don't know. It's just, what an, what an odd offer. You could just give him one year. Why not just give him $100 million for one year? You know, Duncan, I don't think the Dodgers are even looking to plug gaps until Otani can pitch again. I think they're looking for legitimate starters that are going to be part of the rotation for years to come. And there's Zach Levinson to 250. That'll be for Bill and the Cardinals. I think the Dodgers are going to make a run at, at Yamamoto. They're going to try to make some trades. Maybe add Dylan Cease or Corbin Burns to the line, to the rotation. I think they're looking for two, at least two legitimate starters. Maybe they'll go for Glass now. Because that's something that they, they needed to address that last summer. Did the Giants match the Dodgers' Otani offer? Well, for the team like the Giants, they just they can't just match an offer. They gotta they gotta beat the offer. I think it's pretty clear. And Otani, through one sort of source, and speaking of the Giants, here's Joe Whitman. It's gonna be for Andrew. You know, if you were to believe the sources, Otani has specifically said, "I want to go to a contender." No. That's that's the Dodgers. They're a perennial contender. Giants have not been. Giants have had a problem. Uh, Giants have had a problem getting kind of big name free agents to end up with them. There's Emmanuel Bonilla, 78 out of 199. Let's hope Otani doesn't choke for the next 10 years. Chad saying, as a small market team fan, the Yankees, Mets, especially the Dodgers, are going to quit being a baseball fan. How am I supposed to keep my hopes up for my team when the super teams are there? Well, you should have solace in the fact, Chad, that the Arizona Diamondbacks made it to the World Series. And the fact that the team that has always won the offseason, look at the Padres, look at the Mets, look at the Yankees. Where, how far did they go in the playoffs? So that should be of comfort to you. And challenge your owners. Most owners of these quote unquote small market, small market teams actually are making money hand over fist. There's Jace, uh, Borf, Bor Borfin? Borfin, I'm gonna go with Borfin, Toronto. Andrew. A lot, of, a lot of these billionaire owners are crying poor because they're in quote unquote small markets. But they're, they're, a lot of times they're choosing, they're choosing not to spend. So at some point fans have to challenge their ownership as well. Now, I've said that too, Rex. That people is me. 
I've said I've said Otani. Obviously, if, if Otani calls you and says, "I want to be on your team," it's kind of hard not to get that deal done. But the Dodgers really need starting pitching. That's a that's a not so big secret. Here's Josue De Paula to 125. And there's a uh, Ty Pete glass for Seattle. That's going to be for Karen. And Otani will help them make money to get more players for years to come. Maybe Dodgers already have deep pockets, so I don't. I don't think they needed Otani for that. If people are saying that, I dis I disagree with that. You know. Dodgers are owned by this multi-billion dollar hedge fund. Like, they don't need Otani to make money. Or generate the money to, you know, they have four million, they're selling out every home game. They're putting four million people through the turnstiles every year. I Major League, well, I don't know. I actually don't know how Otani, with all those deferrals, I actually don't know how that works out, but as far as I know, major league contracts are fully guaranteed. There's CJ Kafis. So if he has a career ending injury, he still gets paid. 218 out of 250. It's Andrew in Cleveland, but every contract's insured, so. Especially a contract like that. Yeah, the Major League Baseball teams are spending a lot on insurance, especially for the bigger players. You think you think you think any team, you know, big or small, you think they're signing these players, these giant con, these giant guaranteed contracts without some sort of insurance? All right, getting close to the end of Super Jumbo Box number two. This is random team break number three. The next random team will be from a fresh case. Looking to finish strong here. What do we What do we have here? Seeing some nice stuff. Hopefully all of these guys become few. Nice, there you go. Max Clark, that's the stuff we want to see. That's gonna to go to Harry and the Tigers. There you go, Harry. That is your number three overall pick and a highly touted prospect. Yeah, Rex, every, yeah, you're right. The insurance these teams pay, premiums they're paying, is probably, it's probably really crazy, yeah, I mean, They've got insurance for player for most player contracts, I think. Well, definitely the big ones. They got insurance, medical insurance for their coaching staff. They got, you know, insurance on the stadium if they own it. Not only for structural stuff, you know, natural disaster stuff. Yeah, in case someone gets trips and falls in the stadium. You know, there's insurance for that. There's insurance for every every piece of equipment that's on there. You don't think every, you know, every treadmill and every Peloton and every weight 
in the weight room isn't insured. Of course they're insured. The lockers are insured. The carpet in the locker is insured. You know? No, he's obsessed with those secure stadiums, uh, you know, sc sc schools and hospitals. Well, when schools and hospitals, I mean, the sad fact is, Rex, when schools and hospitals start making as much money as Major League Baseball teams, there's Kiner Delgado, and they could pay for all the security they need. 37 at 99, Kiner Delgado. And there's Matt Shaw. We did finish strong. We got that Max Clark autograph. There you go, gang. Quick little recap, autograph recap here. Some nice stuff. Bowman Draft Baseball just dropped today. Get in on the action. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next draft break. Bye-bye.